thanks for the stream, Doctor. Uh, talk a little bit about James Sands. He now leads the league uh, in tackles, one of forty-three. So, talk a little bit about his progress and growth over the last few years. Um, yeah, I think James is having a, a really strong year, and I, I had a huge desire in the preseason to um, get the best out of James and make sure that um, he's a hugely ambitious guy and one that is really, really important to our football club. It, when he plays well, it gives the team almost a solid base to work from. And um, I think he's the fittest that he's ever been. He worked incredibly hard in pre-season. Um, I seen really early that he had a, a real razor sharp focus in what he wanted to achieve and how he wanted to um, contribute to the team. And, you know, I think he's still got more to give. I believe that you know, I want him to be more offensive. I want him to really affect our game with the ball. I think he's great on the ball. I think he dictates the game when we play well. But, uh, you know, like I say, he's a hugely ambitious guy. So, you know, I'm under pressure from him. He puts me under pressure to get the best out of him. And as coaches, that's all we want. Justin? Hi, Justin Egan, the outfield. Can you give us an update on Maxi and Burke? And today in Austin, the high is 100, and tomorrow it's 94. How does that hot weather impact how you're going to prepare for the game and approach the match, especially considering you are coming off playing on Wednesday? Um, yeah, so Maxi and Burke, we're still monitoring. They're still with the medical team. Um, we've decided to train at kickoff time as which is for us because of the heat we want to almost experience what it's like later on so i'll get the update on maxine burke then um yeah it's not ideal to play midweek when the opposition that you play don't play um but that's the nature of mls right it happens every year to us so um we did it previously 2022 i remember we came to dallas and we played three days later we played red bull and they had the week off so it's something that you know it's a challenge you got to work through um, it's hot, it, you know, like I say, we're going to experience that in the training and see what it's like and we'll work through it. I've got a really strong performance team and we'll make sure that those players are prepared for the game. Oliver? Hi, thank you. This is Oliver Strand with Hudson River Blue. Um, weather forecast looks like it's going to be hot, like really hot, very, very hot. Um, your game plan in general seems to be um, high energy, high pressing, moving the ball quickly, running, recovering. Do you make adjustments for that kind of game plan when the environment and the air is working against you? Um, I think you have to expect it. We don't, we don't adjust our game plan. We don't adjust our style. I think it's impossible to do that now. I think when you have almost brainwashed the team into being so offensive and almost... Uh, the attacking mentality is there. That That is, you know, as coaches, what we want. So I've got a really strong analysis and data team, and we've done a lot of work across the effects of heat and climate of MLS. And I don't think it's about changing your um, style. Maybe it's just the effect of the volume of the intensity that you use. And, you know, we experienced it in Nashville. It was really warm there, but I was pleased with the 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 intensity and how we controlled the intensity of the game when you know the because it's for both teams right you know both teams are although austin will be more experienced in training and playing here um we have to retain what we're really strong at so you know the players are prepared and the i think it's about the execution and the understanding of how you control the volume of intensity within the game michael hey nick it's mike kander from blue city radio uh, thanks for the time. Uh, we've talked about the lineup. Uh, we seem to talk about it every every few weeks. Uh, I know you are like to go form over freshness, but uh, it seems like uh, due to injury, uh, you might be locking in more of a, a starting 11, a, you know, a secured starting 11. Can you talk about, uh, you know, that, that process? Yeah, I think, you know, when you, when you, you know, I expect to have these challenges throughout the season, the nature of the length of the season and the, the challenging nature of the, the, the regular schedule through international breaks and three game weeks and climate. You know, you have to work through these challenges. And when you get injuries, you have to make sure you find solutions for them. And that's why we built a roster with competition. You know, 
I, I get it and I understand when there's questions around players being left out of the squad and, and not being on the roster but uh, these moments give opportunity to guys and we'll work through a team I think you know we've got some guys that are really in form at the moment and you know maybe they're not as fresh as they should be but the form itself and the confidence takes over that and where we have holes in the roster where we have opportunities for other guys those guys will step in I thought Stranger Tanis Lievich was excellent at coming in at half time made two really strong plays in goal chances for Montreal so you know I think it's a good marker of our training program when guys come in that haven't been in and show that they can they can perform JR Hey coach JR DeBar Blue City Radio uh, recently you said you were looking for a, a player to step up and really grasp that number nine has Alonzo Martinez accomplished that in your eyes um, I think he's going through the process of it. I think when a guy scores two goals and you know the week before contributes with an assist, I think they're the numbers we're looking for. And you know I say all the time we have to have intensity in our locker room. And and what I mean by that is you know when I don't put guys in the team, when guys don't see the field, I, I want them to put me under pressure. And you know the other side of it is I'm going to put those guys under pressure that when they get their opportunities they have to take them. And you know it's pleasing for me to assist for Hannes Wolf. Uh, two goals for Alonso Martinez. If we're going to be a team that's going to achieve anything, we're going to have to have guys that can, you know, I've said before, produce and execute results. And on the other end, Matt Fries, a guy that is giving us a great opportunity to get results by making big saves and big moments in the game. Hi, Coach. Um, Austin's Josh Wolf has used a number of different systems, not just recently, but during his whole time with Austin. How do you as a coach pair for an opposition manager who maybe isn't wedded to one system? Yeah, I think we're, as football clubs, we're quite similar. You know, We've played a back three and played 3-4-3. Three, three. We've played 4-2-3-1. We've you know, looked at 4-3-3 earlier on in this season and then shifted to where we are now. And I think Austin are fairly similar. I think the uh, the idea remains the same, right? When you look at Austin as a football club, you know they want the ball, they want possession of the ball, they want to create goal chances from controlling the game and controlling the possession. So we know they're a top team. They're a, they're a team that will cause us problems if we don't defend the game well. If we don't, you know, if if we allow them to not only control the game with possession but create opportunities and get in and around our box. The likes of De Rossi and O'Brien and Zardes, they're top quality players. So, you know, we're going to have to make sure that that we, we limit their ability to not only control the game, but control us with the ball. Oliver? Hey, thank you. This is Oliver Strand with Hudson River Blue. I have another question. Um, so you're in the town of Austin, which is legendary for barbecues and bars, and it's the first time that New York's had the opportunity to play Austin. Do you get to take advantage of being in the city at all, or are you, you know, hotel to training ground to sleep to bus to stadium to play? The, major the majority of my friends and family are in England, and they think that I have this incredible life where... I travel around America and I see all these different states and, um, you know, I get to go to Florida and LA and Texas and the reality is every hotel looks exactly the same and you go from the bedroom to the meeting room to the team room to the meal room and then you go play a game. So um, our focus as a football club and my focus is always on preparing the team you know, focusing on the game and the one benefit I get in MLS is I get to see many, many incredible stadiums and, uh, you know, we've had the, the, the benefit of seeing Austin Stadium in pre-season because we played a pre-season friendly and uh, I'm really excited to see it. It's behind closed doors, but I'm really excited to see it with the atmosphere and the fans tomorrow. Final one, Justin. Hi, Nick. Uh, Justin, the outfield again. Um, after two losses on the last road trip, is there anything that you want to approach differently on this one? Um, no, it's about learning. It's about a process. And, you know, we were really pleased to win the three away games on the run. You know, we went Toronto, Philadelphia, New England, and then really disappointed to lose the, the LA and Nashville game. And I think for me, is a is 
one, I have to see dissatisfaction in the team when we lose those games. I have to see the disappointment, which I did. Um, and it's all about learning. It's all about making sure that we now have four road games, that we have the ability to take the learnings from the wins and the losses. And, you know, the, the, the three wins, you know, it wasn't perfection. And the three losses isn't a catastrophe. What it is is five away games with three wins. And that's much better than last year because we were one out of all of our road games. So um, we have to continue to learn. We have to continue in the journey and the process. And we have to make sure that, like I say, we take the learnings out of both situations because they will prepare us in this, this Austin game to make sure we start this four game road spell with a positive result. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now. I won't stop till I wear the crown.